Evan is in Tennessee. Hi, Evan. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So in March of 2016, I was uh, diagnosed with cancer. And as part of that, I basically just said, screw it, and focused 100% on that. What ended up happening was I got evicted from my apartment, my car got repossessed, and now that I'm all better, I've been back at work for quite a long time. Well, that's wonderful uh, news. The, uh, <laughs> it's pure luck that I was able to do it as quickly as I did. But yeah. uh, I'd say more than luck. But I, don't, I was going to say, go. beating cancer wouldn't be called luck. Yeah. It, was, it took a lot of intervention, both uh, medically and divine, to yes. get me through it. So now I'm at the point where I can start getting things back together. Uh -huh. I've, uh, I've got a pretty good job that uh, gives me some great medical benefits, which was my number one concern for the very obvious reason. Sure. But now I'm at the point where I need to start getting the eviction taken care of and start kind of cleaning up my records so I can get, I can get back to living somewhat of a normal life. Gotcha. How much do you make now? Uh, I make I gross forty thousand a year, but after the insurance and my medical care, I come around twenty eight thousand. Your insurance is a thousand dollars a month. Yes. For one person. Yep. Okay. Well, that's pretty ridiculous in Tennessee, but uh, so you're obviously not on a group plan. I actually am, but it's a relatively small company. It's about 200 people, so it's not a very well negotiated group plan. Yeah. Uh, so have you pr have you priced just personally like a Blue Cross Blue Shield policy? I have, and it'd be about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars a month, and I wouldn't get the coverage limits that I get with my group plan. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So you're making forty. You got twenty eight left over after your health insurance. And you want to go back and clean up some of this mess. Uh, do you have anything that is current debt that you're paying on? Or is it all old no, bad debt? It's all old bad debt that's in collections or been processed. Okay, Nothing so you got an eviction, after. and you got a repo, and you got some old medical bills. Yes. Okay. How much uh, is the has the eviction contacted you? Uh, they have not contacted me since I left the unit. Okay. So you don't know if you owe them anything. Uh, I do know that I owe them stuff because it's on my credit report. Well, what's it showing on so your I, credit report? Uh, 4500 It's okay. showing on the credit report. Well, that's good news. All right. And uh, what about the uh, car repo? What are they showing? Uh, just under 7500 so like 7420 something Gotcha. Okay. And how much in medical bills? <sighs> that's actually the good news. Um, one of the benefits, I say one of the benefits, but one of the good things that happens when you get cancer is everybody comes out of the woodwork to help you. So I've only got roughly about a thousand dollars in medical bills and that's from the last year. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's just take this in order of smallest to largest and let's pay the medical bills as soon as possible on your budget. Be clear of that. Um, make sure if they're all any, old, any bills that are old bills, always get in writing that the amount you are sending them clears the account. Okay. You're either paying it in full or you're settling it or whatever. But if I send you this amount, then I can send, then the account is cleared and you keep that in hard copy form, not e form, print it okay. off, print it off and staple a check to it showing or some kind of copy of proof of payment showing that you not only got from them, this is what clears the account, but you cleared the account by sending it to them. And you keep that in a file for the rest of your life. Now, then we'll go to the eviction, and I would just contact the management company, and uh, you can always do better in person, on, especially on that one, okay? And so what okay. I would do is if you can meet with the manager of the apartment complex or wherever it was that you were, the company you were working with, sit down mm -hmm. with them in person and not, uh, you know, not, not making any excuses. I let it all go because I was fighting cancer and um, I, I should have been more responsible, but I was fighting cancer. And so I've gotten, you know, I'm, I've recovered from the cancer I'm, uh, that's in my past, in my rearview mirror. So I'm trying to go back and make right now. 
my credit report shows $4,500. What do your files show, and what will you take if I give it to you today in settlement in lump sum? Okay. And then if they give you, if they say $1,000 will settle this, then you hand them $1,000 and you get a receipt and you get it in writing that that account is cleared for that. Now, the car repo, you can probably settle it for a quarter on the dollar. I have no idea what the landlord will do. They're all over the map. They may want 100%. They may look at you and go, this is five years ago. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm so glad you're here. I'm sorry you had cancer. Sure, we'll take a grand and be done with it. Or they may go, we're adding fees to this. You know, I don't know what they'll do. Yeah. So, But whatever you do, do it in lump sum. And if they want more money yeah. than you have, you say, I'll have to get back to you when I've got the money. But now we at least have a conversation going. Okay? Yeah. And uh, I can't uh, give you more than I have, and I will not pay payments. Yeah. So just a little bit of information that's kind of driving me getting this together. I'm getting a $6,000 bonus in January. Perfect. So my goal was to get the eviction knocked off first because the eviction is keeping me from renting certain places. Yeah, but you can get both that, and you're not, they're not going to – they're going to settle with you. Go see them. Okay. Go sit down with them and clear clear the medical and clear the eviction with the six thousand. Okay. You'll be able to clear both of them with that, and then you can start working on. I mean, that how old is this repo? Uh, the repo happened in June of 2016, so it's yeah two and a half years old. Yeah, they'll probably take a dime on the dollar. They might take a grand too, because they, okay. they they can't find you and they figure you didn't make it. I mean, they're just going to be happy you showed back up. You, you know, they're going to mouth about it, and you're going to have to argue with them. But I bet you can get them to take a grand on that. So you might be surprised how quickly this all clears up for you, brother. I'm sorry for what you've been through. Thanks for calling in, and thanks for going and making it right.